beautiful set called Simply Scent. And so what they are is elements of card making all put together for you. And all you have to add to it is the stamps. And I want to say that it always gives you a recommendation on what stamp, but feel free to replace the stamps that are suggested with a stamp that you have on your shelf. You know, so any stamp will do. Today I'm actually going to use the Elegant Thank You uh, stamp. And I'm actually opening it up brand new just to go through this with you. Let's get started. Now what I've done is I've taken the plastic off of this and I'm just going to turn it around so I can see. And I'm going to, I just took the plastic off so I'm actually learning this with you. And we're going to make a card together as I'm following the instructions to show you how easy it is. So it comes with the cover which actually has all the card designs that are possible in the package and you can actually create three of each which gives you nine cards. If you open that you get your instructions on the inside in English, French, and Spanish. And so that's that. You also get some embellishments. In this case we have all of these beautiful uh, pre-stamped and pre-cut, I just popped these out, kind of stickers. Then we have designer paper, two-sided. We have textured cardstock, three colors of textured cardstock. Um, you have this like protective white sheet that you can reuse, and you have the backer of this package, which is um, chipboard. Sorry. So I would hold on to that because you can cut it in your big shot and make other things with it. So let's follow the instructions on one of these. So first, I'm going to pick a card, and I think I'm going to just make it easy. I'm going to take the first card here. I'm going, to use, I'm going to make this card. So if I open the instructions, since it's the first card, it's going to be the first one listed here. And it tells me exactly what I need. So basically I've taken out everything I need, so I'm going to put everything else that's not mentioned over to the side. The instructions are to score and fold the all olive textured cardstock to create a four and a quarter, five and a half card. So if we look at the picture, the card opens this way, so I need to to cut this paper down. So I'm going to cut it down to five and a half. I'm cutting it right down the middle. And then I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. And I'm just using this um, cutter because it's smaller than the stamping up one and then it wants me to fold it this way. Then it says to adhere the designer series paper to the card front one inch from the bottom. So as far as the designer paper, one thing I didn't read out loud to you was that it said up here, I need to cut out just the more mustard rose red. So just these two strips here. And then I need to cut the the more mustard down so that it's only 7 16 inches wide. So and a lot of people when they hear the 7 16th they get like what? Just remember that 8 16th is half. So 7 16th is just slightly under half. So I'm going to first cut those two colors off and then he wants the more mustard to be 7 16th inch wide. So I'm just going to put this on my ruler and I'm going to start counting that from a little less than half of an inch. Just line the more mustard up with that. And if you're not sure if you're cutting correctly, just take a peek at the picture and you'll get an idea if you're just about right. All right, and I'll just cut that off. Being that the, the card is four and a quarter, I'm going to cut that also at four and a quarter. Right. If you don't get it perfect, don't worry. So it wants me to adhere that one inch from the bottom. I'm just going to adhere this down. Okay, again, I can also use my grid paper to help me with the one inch thing. Remember I was telling you, so if I lined it up here, one inch would be right there. 
the ruler is the grid paper is much easier than the ruler. So now I've got that on there. Then it says next. It says to, and it kind of goes over because this is in French and Spanish and English, so you have to move your hand over. It wants me to cut a small slit in the side of the card near the top of the rose red. And what that slit is going to be for is I know exactly what's going to be for. It's going to be for the ribbon because I can see that in the picture. So I'm just going to take my knife, my craft and hobby knife, and I'm going to cut a slit about the width of this white ribbon right in this on the fold of my card. And then I'm going to run the uh, ribbon right through that slit. So it looks like that's probably going to be about long enough. And again, just like I said, you can change your your stamp. You could also change your ribbon. If you have a different color ribbon you'd like to use, you can. I think the goal here is to cut down on your need to be creative, I guess. It just kind of enables you to be speedy and beautiful at the same time. But don't hesitate to throw creativity in the mix. So I'm just going to tie that and trim the ends. Okay, so there's my ribbon. Again, checking the picture. I look like I'm getting along pretty good here. Starting to look just like the picture. So then it says, next step is to stamp the thank you. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and put my card down. I'm going to stamp this onto the uh, green. I actually want to use my marker because I don't want the embellishment on this thank you. I just want the word thank you. And I want the bottom embellishment, not the top. So I'm going to use my marker, which is my favorite trick for getting pieces of a stamp. So you can take any stamp and use it in several different ways because you don't have to use the whole stamp. Take your marker and choose what part of the stamp you want. So I'm just taking the bottom of that and not the top. And then I'm going to and stamp. And that's exactly what I wanted. So see, I just took the bottom of it instead of the whole stamp. So then what else does it want me to do? It wants me to layer the flower burst. And here's, here's where I give you a little hint here. Use your picture as a guide so you don't have to figure out what it's talking about. So on the bottom is this one. So I'm just going to take this out and layer it down. Next is this one. And I want to center that on there. And if you need help centering, again, use your grid. Next is this one. I'm just putting it in the center of the little circles. That's the last one. So then, right here over the ribbon, they want this little tiny more mustard one. Right there over the ribbon. And this is great because it's totally self-adhesive. Self and here's a little trick that I know that is not on the paper, but I love to do this. I'm going to use a white gel pen and draw myself a little bit of thread. And then I'm going to use a glue dot to put the button down right in the middle of that flower. And depending on your gel pen, you might have to wait until it until the gel dries, but I'm just going to go over it again. So bam! Here's what it looks like on the cover of the kit. Here's what it looks like when I did it. Basically I changed the stamp. I only used a piece. And I put a little piece of thread, fake thread, into my button. And I think it can help us produce cards quickly and easily. Thank you.